A large sum of money found hidden in a random home years ago. What happened to it? Now the subject of a police investigation. Yeah, the home's previous owner tells investigative reporter Ted Daniel she's still waiting for it to be returned. Ted explains how much money we're talking about here and what happens next. The amount of money is in dispute. Several figures are being thrown around from three to thirty four thousand dollars. Here's what we know. A couple found the cash in 2017 in a home they just moved into. They say they gave it all to their real estate agent to give it to the woman who sold them the house. Today, the realtor brought bank records to court. Her lawyer says those records show she turned all the money over. Raynham real estate agent Nicole Sliney and her lawyers at Taunton District Court. Sliney was ordered to appear in a closed door hearing. No cameras allowed. The case is based on a complaint brought by Martha Bruning. Sliney represented Bruning and the couple that bought her Raynham home in 2017. You know, I've always been a saver and I've always put hidden money. In a sworn affidavit, the couple that bought Bruning's home declared their house cleaners found some combination of cash and either cashier's checks or traveler's checks within a couch one month after moving in. That couch had been left behind by Bruning. Bruning claimed she hid the money in 1999 because she was concerned bank computers would fail at the millennium. The scare was known as Y2K. So you're saying you had $34,000 in your couch? Right. That's what I figured. I had around $34,000, $7,000 of that was the traveler's checks. Traveler's checks. Bruning says she did not find out about the money until last year, after Nicole Sliney got into a legal battle with a business partner. According to court documents from that case, the former business partner claims Sliney told her she pocketed a portion of the couch money and used it to buy a new lift kit for her husband Justin's truck. Anyone can accuse anyone of anything, uh, and it's really unfortunate. Attorney Joseph Krauske represents Nicole Sliney. He says certified bank records prove she deposited $3,014 in Bruning's bank account days after the money was turned over to her. He says that's every cent of what was found in the couch. The foundation of these allegations, again, are completely false. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate because it can do damage to a terrific, respected business person in this community. I am 100 percent sure uh, that my client is going to be vindicated. Nicole Sliney has not been charged with any crime. Monday's hearing was to decide if there is probable cause for a charge to be issued. A magistrate heard from both sides and a ruling could come at any time. I'm investigative reporter Ted Daniel for your local station, Boston 25 News.